But hello there, and welcome to the next tutorial, the second tutorial in this series. Uh, this tutorial, once again, is brought to you by Tutville.com. Make sure to visit Tutville.com for some more great tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to create and use the document class. What I like to start off by doing is uh, structuring my folders that I'm going to be using. I'm going to do this on my desktop just to make it easier for you to follow along. I'm going to name this after my fake website called My Site. And inside that folder, I'm going to make a new folder called Com. Inside this one, I'm going to make another folder called My Site. And then inside that one, I'm going to make another folder called Document Class. And the reason we do this is to make sure there's not really any chance of us mixing our mixing classes up with uh, another file that we're working on. Uh, what this is is uh, our pretend URL backwards. So if your website was uh, www.mysite.com, then you know it would start off with com, and then my site, and and then we just add the document class. This is where we're going to be holding our document class dot action script file. You can close that and head back into Flash. Here we are. And what we'll do is we'll just make our Flash file action script 3.0 and save it. We'll make sure we're saving it to the right area. So save as. And okay, mine's already going in here. Um, so you just want to make sure it's in your folder, the My Site. Um, don't go any further than here. You don't want to go into the com or anything. You just want to save it right in here. You can name it whatever you want. I usually just name it Main. Okay, now we need to make our action script file. So go to File, New, Action Script File. Okay, and our package is our folder structure. So we're going to do, we're going to do com dot my oops, my site dot document class. In curly bracket and what that is doing is pretty much saying that this is where our classes or this is where our document class is uh, you go to com.mysite.documentclass and that's where our document class is going to be held and then we're going to do our public class document class and this all is case sensitive uh, you'll notice that this is a capital D instead of lower case D um, this is what we're going to be saving this action script file as exactly like this except it'll have a dot as at the end of it and we need to extend movie clips or just movie clip um, you could extend it sprite or shape. Uh, shape it would take up less memory and stuff, but it just doesn't really have much functionality. I usually use movie clips all the time. Uh, they're pretty similar to sprites, uh, except movie clips would have uh, frames. And then we need to do our public function. and then close all of these curly brackets. There we go. Now this is how you would set up uh, any class um, exactly like this, uh, except you would name this, uh, you know, if this was a, a button class and you were, gonna, you were going to save this action script file as button class, you know, it would just be button class. And then you would also change this a public function to button class. But as it is, we're doing the document class today. So that's what we're going to keep it as. Now since we did extend this movie clip, we do need to import something. We're, we're going to import more things in the future that we need, but for now, just so we can see that this is working, we just need to import the flash dot display dot movie clip. 
and semicolon. Now we can save this. Go ahead and save as and make sure it's going into your correct folder. So we're going to go into com my site document class and save it in here. And like I said before, it's important. It needs to be saved just like this document class. Just like that. And hit save. Okay. Still nothing's going to happen yet though. We need to go back into main and we need to link it. To link it to that document class over here in the right hand side in the properties. If you don't see this you can go ahead and go to the selection tool. Make sure that's clicked. And that should bring this up over here. Or you might need to change this to classic. And right in here you just type in the path to the document class. and then the actual title of the document class. Okay, and we can file save. So now if we test the movie, you can do that either by going to control test movie or hitting control enter. There we go. Here is our movie. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Um, we're actually not seeing anything because we didn't do anything. So what I'm going to show you is just so we can make sure that we are actually linked to our document class. We'll just put a little trace in here so that we can see that it, it is at least working. And we'll just type in document class initialized. And semicolon. And you can go ahead and save or control S and if you test the movie again you should get the output right up here document class initialized so now we know at least that it is connected to our main FLA and uh, they are communicating um, that should be it for now uh, next time in our next lesson in lesson 3 we'll come back and we will add some movie clips to the stage here and we will control them in here in our document class. So I'll see you next time and once again visit tutville.com for some more great tutorials. See you later.